Hello everyone, it's Chantelle from Crow Chantelle, and welcome to this tutorial on how to crochet a hermit crab. This pattern is completely no-sew, and if you'd like to get the PDF version of this pattern, please check out the description for more details. So the materials that you'll need include a 5mm crochet hook, some scissors, a sewing or darning needle, a stitch marker, I personally use a bobby pin, two colors of yarn, one for the shell and one for the crab itself, some polyfill stuffing, as well as 18 millimeter safety eyes. And the terminology you will need to know include a magic ring, single crochet, increase, decrease, slip stitch, chain, fasten off, front loop only, back loop only, and stitch. So to start, we are going to create the eyes and I am using dark blue for the crab itself and then for row one you are simply going to do six single crochets into a magic ring i personally like to close off my magic ring before working single crochets into them but it's ultimately your choice and then for row two you're just going to work six single crochets around for a total of six stitches. And this is what your work should look like. You're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch to fasten off. You should be left with this small dome-like shape. And then for the next step, we're going to be grabbing our safety eyes. You're going to be inserting the safety eye between row one and two. And this is what it should look like. And you are going to make two of these. Next, we are going to make the crab arms or the pinchers. Once again, I am using this dark blue color, and for row one, we are going to work six single crochets into a magic ring. And I am once again closing off my magic ring before working single crochets into them. I just find this helps prevent the yarn from snapping when closing it. And then for row two, we are going to increase to nine stitches around, and to do that, we are going to do a single crochet and then an increase for a total of three times. Then for the next three rows, we are just going to single crochet around, so that is a total of nine stitches for three rows. And this is what it should look like so far. And getting started on row six, we are going to decrease to six stitches around, and to do that we are going to do a single crochet and then a decrease for a total of three times. Now we are going to lightly stuff the claw or the pincher of the arm. And then for the next four rows, you are just going to single crochet around. So that is a total of six stitches for four rows. And to fasten off, just slip stitch into the next stitch. you are going to be making two arms or pinchers and this is what they should look like we are now going to get started on the shell so you're going to use a your secondary color yarn now and then for row one we're just going to work six single crochets into a magic ring And then for the next two rows, we are going to 
simply single crochet around. So that's a total of six stitches per row and you will be doing two rows. And then for row four, we are going to be working in the front loop only. And we will be increasing to 12 stitches around. And to do that, you will simply increase a total of six times. And then for row five, we are going to be increasing to 18 stitches around. And to do that, we will do a single crochet and then an increase for a total of six times. And then for the next three rows, we are just going to single crochet around. So that is 18 stitches per row and a total of three rows. And this is what your work should look like. Then moving on to row 10, we are going to once again be working in the front loop only. We are going to increase to 24 stitches around. And to do that, we are going to do two single crochets and then an increase for a total of six times. And then for row 11, we are going to be increasing to 30 stitches around. And to do that, we are going to do three single crochets and then an increase for a total of six times. And then for the next four rows, we are just going to single crochet around. So that is a total of 30 stitches per row for a total of four rows. And we have completed the last bump portion of the shell and we are now going to get started on the brim of the shell. So we are going to be working in the front loop only. And at this point, I would recommend putting a stitch marker in the back loop only because we will be working into that round in a little while. Uh, and for row 16, we are going to be working, as I said, in the front loop only, and we will be increasing to 36 stitches around. You will be doing four single crochets and then an increase for a total of six times in order to get 36 stitches. I find working in the front loop only can be a bit more of a tedious process, so don't worry if it takes you a bit longer. And then for row 17, we are going to be increasing to 42 stitches around. And to do that, we are going to do five single crochets and then an increase for a total of six times. 
and this will be the last row of the brim and then we will get started on the body of the crab. And this is what your shell should look like. I would recommend putting stitch markers into some of the increases. As you can see, they kind of come to a point on my shell. So I am going to be putting stitch markers into each of these points on the shell. So for row 1, we are going to be working in the back loop only of row 15. We are just going to single crochet around. So that is a total of 30 stitches. And then for the next two rows, you are simply going to single crochet around for a total of 30 stitches per row. And this is what your work should look like so far. And this is the row that we are going to start attaching the eyes. So this is where placement is kind of important. So for me, I have to do six single crochets in order to get to this one particular point. I'm bypassing closest point and going to the next one and then you are going to attach your eyeball so put the eyeball upside down and have the actual eye safety eye facing towards you and then into one of these stitches on the back insert your crochet hook through it and then put your crochet hook through the next stitch of the body and complete a single crochet then insert your hook into the next stitch of the eye and through the next stitch of the body and complete another crochet and repeat that for the next stitch of the eye and the next stitch of the body to complete the third crochet. And then we are going to do two single crochets before doing the other eye. You may need to do more or less than this in order to have your eyes positioned in line with the increases of the brim of the shell and we are going to repeat the same process put the eyeball upside down have the safety eye facing towards you and on the back half you are going to insert your crochet hook into one of the stitches then insert your hook into the next stitch of the body of the crab and complete a single crochet and then repeat the process into the next stitch of the eye, insert your hook, and then into the next stitch of the body, complete another cr single crochet. And then for the last time, you're going to insert your crochet hook for the third time into the eye in the next stitch, and then in the next stitch of the body, and then complete a single crochet. And then to finish the row, you are going to do 20 single crochets for a total of 30 stitches. You may need to do more or less than this and adjust to what works with your crab best and then for row five you are going to do the exact same process as you did for row four you are going to do the same number of stitches working up to the eye so for me that is six single crochets and then once you get to the eye you are going to work into the unworked stitches of the eye, insert your hook, and then insert your hook through the next 
stitch of the body and complete a single crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch of the eye and the next stitch of the body and complete your second single crochet. Then insert your hook into the final stitch of the eye and the next stitch of the body and complete your third crochet. Then do two single crochets, then three single crochets through both layers of the eye and the body, and then 20 more single crochets to finish off the row. Once again, you may need to adjust this depending on your tension but I'm just giving you my exact numbers as an example. And this is what it should look like once the eyes are attached. They should be in line with the increases on the brim of the shell. And then for row six, you're just going to do three single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times. And by the end of the row, you should have a total of 24 stitches. And once you complete this row, you are going to start stuffing. For this row, you do not need to do anything in regards to the eye or the arms of the crap. And then for row seven, we are going to continue decreasing and we are going to start attaching the arms. Once again, you do not need to use my stitch counts precisely. You may need to adjust depending on your tension and positioning, but I'm just using mine as an example. So to start, I'm going to do two single crochets and then a decrease. And then I'm going to do another single crochet and the arms or the pinchers should be in line with the eyeballs. So that is why I am now taking my arm and going through one layer. I'm going to insert my hook through one stitch of the arm and then the next stitch of the body to do a single crochet. And then I'm going to be doing a decrease. So I am going to insert my hook through the next stitch of the arm and the next stitch of the body yarn over, pull through, and then insert my hook into the next stitch of the arm and the next stitch of the body, yarn over, pull through, and complete a decrease. And then I am going to do two single crochets, and now that I am in line with the next eye, I am going to repeat the process. Going to insert my hook into a stitch of the arm and then into the next stitch of the body yarn over pull through since I am now on a decrease I am going to instead of finish the single crochet insert my hook into the next stitch of the arm and then back into the next stitch of the body yarn over pull through and then complete the decrease then I am going to insert my crochet hook into the next stitch of the arm and the next stitch of the body and complete a single crochet. Then to finish off the row, I will be doing a single crochet and then a decrease and then two single crochets and then a decrease for a total of two times to have 18 stitches at the end of the row. And then for row eight, we are going to decrease to 12 stitches around. So for me and my stitch counts I am going to do a single crochet and then a decrease and then another single crochet and then I am going to be doing a decrease through the arm and then a single crochet following the same process of working into the next stitch of the arm and then the next stitch of the body
and then I'm going to do a decrease partially between the arms and then going into one stitch of the next arm and then doing a single crochet by going into the next stitch of the arm the next stitch of the body and then doing another decrease partially between the arm and partially between the body this part can be quite confusing as we are attaching through a decrease so if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below or reach out to me in dm on instagram at underscore crochantel underscore i would love to help you out And then I'm just going to continue stuffing before closing off the crap. Then for the final row, row 9, we are going to do a total of 6 decreases to have 6 stitches at the end of the row. You do not need to work any single crochets into the arms now because we have finished them across the past two rows. And then to fasten off, just slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you are going to sew the opening closed. I like to sew close the opening by attaching my darning needle and then weaving through the front loops only of the final six stitches of the row, pulling tight, tying a tight knot, and then weaving the end into the body. And we are now going to get started on the legs of the hermit crab. You are going to put them in to the increase next to the increase you position the eyes or you can also see it as putting them in roughly three single crochets away from the eyes and you are going to be inserting the legs through rows three and five for right now i am working through row three and you are going to slip stitch into the row attach your yarn and then chain seven and starting in the second chain from the hook you are going to do six single crochets down the chain. And then once you have completed that, you will slip stitch back into row three and fasten off. You are going to repeat this process for each of the legs, making sure to have the legs roughly three stitches away from the eyes and positioning them in rows three and five on either side of the crab. And this is what it should look like once you have completed all of the legs and weaved in the ends. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This has been one of my favorite patterns to make so far. If you have any questions regarding the pattern, please drop them in the comment section below or send me a DM on Instagram. If you would like to purchase the PDF version of this pattern, it is available on my Etsy and my website. It is cheaper to buy on my website. And purchasing the pattern really helps support me to, to continue creating free tutorials such as this one. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content such as this. I'll see you in the next one.